Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain EM wave in free space and in medium. First of all, I'll explain propagation of EM wave. You can observe here, we have propagation of EM wave towards Z direction. Here, we have electric field oscillation with respect to X axis. And here we have magnetic field oscillation with respect to y axis. So, propagation of EM wave that is happening towards z direction. So, first of all, you need to understand what is the direction of propagation. See, direction of propagation that one can identify as per right hand thumb rule, where you will have to use your right hand and here this finger that you need to rotate from electric field to magnetic field then direction of propagation that will be there in thumbs direction. So here if you rotate your right hand's finger from electric field to magnetic field, then direction of thumb that will be in the direction of propagation, right? So direction of propagation with EM wave that is having direction as per E cross H. E cross H means right hand thumb rule is having rotation of finger from electric field to magnetic field direction at that time thumbs direction that will be direction of propagation right now i will explain electromagnetic waves in free space first so in free space you can observe this oscillation of electric field and oscillation of magnetic field that is propagating towards z direction so for free space let me explain electric field first. So here you can observe electric field that is oscillating with respect to x axis. You can observe it is oscillating with respect to x axis. That's why here i x is mentioned along with unit vector E0 that is maximum oscillation magnitude. So E0 that is maximum oscillation magnitude with respect to x axis sin omega t minus beta z is written omega is frequency beta that is 2 pi by lambda beta is 2 pi by lambda and z is direction of propagation one should know wave equation right so in wave equation here direction of propagation that is happening with respect to z axis and this signal that is oscillating with respect to time so with respect to time, with respect to direction of propagation, we need to mention that as per E0 sin omega t minus beta z. Here always remember, if we have minus sign over here along with beta z, means direction of propagation is there towards positive z direction, right? Similarly, for magnetic field intensity, equation is h naught sin omega t minus beta z in the i y direction. So here you can observe oscillation of magnetic field that is happening with respect to y axis, right? So here i y that is what oscillation axis. Here h naught that is maximum magnitude of magnetic field intensity omega is angular frequency beta is 2 pi by lambda and minus z that is mentioned means direction of propagation with this magnetic field intensity that is there towards positive z direction if it is having direction of propagation towards negative z direction then here there will be plus sign right and few more things that you should know if here it is mentioned like minus beta x what it means direction of propagation of electric field that is there towards positive x direction if it is having plus beta y then direction of propagation that is there towards negative y direction so that is how direction of propagation that one can understand from this wave equation in free space now let me explain what will the electromagnetic waves in medium. See in free space, there will be minimum attenuation. 
one can say attenuation constant is zero. But when it comes to medium, then in medium, there will be attenuation of electric field as well as magnetic field. And that attenuation that depends on attenuation constant. So in medium, electromagnetic wave that is having similar equation over here, only we are adding e to the power minus alpha z, where alpha that is attenuation constant and that is depending on medium. Right. So what will happen? Signal will be deteriorating with respect to distance z right so as distance z increases what will happen total amplitude that will decrease based on attenuation constant alpha see for free space alpha is negligible that's why e to the power 0 that is 1 over here but for medium we do have some value of alpha so as you increase the value of z see alpha is constant for medium right so as you increase distance means as wave is propagating total amplitude that will decrease right so here with electric field as well as with magnetic field in medium signal will decrease based on attenuation constant alpha right so here there are a few essential key points that you need to note down See, first key point that is based on EM wave propagation direction. EM wave propagation direction that is there as per E cross H. So, as per right hand thumb rule, if you rotate your finger of right hand from electric field to magnetic field direction, then thumb direction that is there in the direction of propagation. Here, for wave propagation, electric field equation that one should know. If it is having a propagation in z direction with respect to oscillation in x direction, then E is E naught sin omega t minus beta z in Ix oscillation and magnetic field that is oscillating with respect to Iy. So magnetic field is H naught sin omega t minus beta z into Iy. Here, maximum amplitude that is mentioned over here, and here attenuation for free space that is negligible that's why we are not writing e to the power minus alpha z but if this same electromagnetic waves that is oscillating and propagating in some medium then medium is having attenuation constant and with respect to propagation distance this amplitude that will decrease that will decrease as per e to the power minus alpha z right so these are the key essential points that one need to focus about. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is EM wave and how it is propagating. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.